darlings, welcome back to a new video and very excitingly a new series here on my YouTube channel. So I decided that since my last video, which was how to maximise your wardrobe and styling hacks to make the most of your wardrobe, I wanted to do more videos along those lines, but something that would really resonate with you and still provide you with inspiration and information about your wardrobe. So I've decided I'm going to do a new series and I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback on this, and it's going to be my how to style series. So the idea of this is to help you hopefully buy less but buy better. Buy those things you're going to get so much use out of those things you can style for day times for night times things that you're going to be able to really maximize that price per wear so as well as those core cool pieces in your wardrobe I'm also going to be talking through a few of my favorite trend pieces throughout this series today starting off with the very very popular satin midi skirt and I'm going to be sharing five different ways to style those pieces personally I think when you're buying something if there aren't at least five ways you can style it then you probably shouldn't buy it so hopefully these videos will help you get more out of those pieces that you are investing your money in and give you some inspiration on how to get loads of different looks from those key pieces. So as I've mentioned and as you've seen from the title, today we are kicking off with one of autumn's biggest trends and it is the silk or satin midi skirt or maxi skirt. So this trend I believe originally started way back in the 90s as you guys know. No trend is new, nothing in fashion is new, but in the 90s it was really those beautiful slip dresses that were so popular. And to be honest I'm not surprised they've come back in fashion, they're so simple, they're so elegant and I thought it'd be really fun to do today because they're perfect for this transitional time of year and there really are so many different ways of wearing them. New to my wardrobe is this beautiful one from Topshop so this is the one that I'm going to be styling up for you today but over on the blog I'm going to have a blog post with loads of different silk and satin skirts ranging from high street to high end so if you'd like to see a few different designs then head over to the blog I'll leave it linked down below. This is the Topshop one and I'll be showing you how to style it up for really casual occasions and for those smarter occasions and and also for work too. This skirt from Topshop was £29 which I think is really great value for money and, and with these five outfits I'll be showing you how to get amazing price per wear from a piece like this. Of course I'll be wearing it in lots of additional ways not just these five outfits to really get that price per wear right down. This is a super comfortable piece to wear, it's got an elasticated waistband, it's a very very flattering length, beautiful quality but still very very simple. Perfect colour for this time of year as well and I think it's going to be a real core cool piece in my transitional wardrobe. So without further ado, let me show you five ways to style the Topshop Satin Midi Skirt. All right, so I'm starting off with the jumper that I was already wearing. So rust on rust for this first look. I think it's a really nice way of having a very cohesive look with the two shades that match very nicely together. I've made it really chic with my accessories. This box bag from Topshop I absolutely love and I think it's such an affordable way of having that snake print trend in your outfit. The shoes are also very on trend, also very affordable from Topshop, some lovely little cord sandals. And then I've made it very chic and stylish with my favorite sunglasses. I just think these are such a great way of finishing off any outfit. I didn't tuck the jumper in, I thought it looked really nice, just casual, slouchy, out, and then some statement jewelry. I've got my favorite necklace and gold earrings to complete the look. Here's another look at the shoes. The heel height is surprisingly comfortable for all day wear. Okay, this next one is my workwear chic outfit. So I've got my specs on, I've got a lovely white blouse which I love and I think is such a good kind of Chloe-esque blouse. Putting my favourite Topshop camel coat on over the top just for a little layer of warmth and it's so versatile. So the top and the skirt, I think this would be a really great office outfit, really smart, perfect for a day of meetings and still really comfortable as well. The neckline of this blouse and also the sleeves, the ruffles, I think are just so pretty and feminine. I feel a bit like a pirate but I absolutely love it. To complete the workwear style I've gone for some very classic beige court shoes. These are a few months old from Topshop but I will try and find some similar ones. Okay, this is kind of the opposite, very dressed down, very, very casual. I've gone for a super comfy, cozy, oversized knit in a really versatile camel colour. My Gucci Dionysus bag, which is just such a favourite. I love getting this out every autumn. The same circle necklace that I'm loving wearing at the moment. And then you can just see in the mirror, I've got on my flat mules with the fur on them, faux fur. 
and these just are a great way of still being very on trend with the mules. No, they are not Gucci and really comfy at the same time. So showing the versatility of the satin skirt, I've paired it with a plain white t-shirt. It might be a little bit chilly for this now that the temperatures have dropped, but you could always put a lovely chunky cardigan around your shoulders or wear something like this in the office for more casual Fridays. And I've styled it up with my Chloe bag. I think that something like this, a statement accessory, is a great way of making an outfit like this a lot smarter my heeled mules just to add a real height boost and the skirt is just such a lovely elegant feminine length i love it this is probably my favorite way of styling the skirt so i really just wanted to layer it up play around with some textures i've got on my favorite scallops neck um, jumper from Topshop, and then my faux fur gilet which is kind of like snow leopard style again the snake print box bag which i just love you can really see here the detail on the um, cuffs of the top really nice way of layering it and then to keep my legs warm I've got some <laughs> over knee boots on as well so if I take off the gilet you can see that it looks really nice with a more fitted jumper as well but personally I absolutely love how it looks with the gilet great for this time of year when it's a little bit more transitional perfect for the temperatures at the moment Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed that chatty try-on session. I hope you found it interesting. And as I mentioned, this is going to be a new series here on my channel. So if you've got any product suggestions, any key pieces that you'd like to see me styling up five different ways, then please leave your suggestions down in the comment section down below. Um, and generally your feedback on this new style of video. I'd love to know your thoughts. Keep in mind, if there is something that you're thinking about buying and if you can't think of five ways to wear it, then maybe it's not the right item for your wardrobe buy less but buy better that is going to be our new motto here on the youtube channel so as i mentioned at the beginning everything shown in this video will be linked down below so just open up the description box for all the links and also for my blog post with a few different satin skirts i've picked all the way from the super affordable to the super high end everyone from h m to victoria beckham has a skirt like this out at the moment so it really is a very on trend piece if you enjoyed this video then i'd love it if you give it a thumb up and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.